Hey guys, welcome back to DeFi Teaching Strip and Farm for Poverty. I'm your host, Strip Coach, dropping knowledge bombs on all Forex Shark related projects. So, in today's video, not clickbaits, I'm going to make a bold claim and say that all YouTubers are lying to you about the faucet, myself included. I was telling people to the best thing they need to do is get into the faucet, establish a faucet. You know, faucet is number one, yada, yada, yada. And I'm going to go against the grain here. And I'm going to say that if, 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 it's a big if, if you are not in the faucet right now and you're on the sidelines, then do not get into it. And I'm going to explain why. Um, because in the next two months, the focus is going to be on the animal farm. So all the marketing and everything coming in is the animal farm. So the TLDR, don't get in the faucet. Get into the garden. So if you want to skip the video, that's that's the uh, big bulletin. Um, so if you're in the faucet, then yes, continue to build up your faucet position. But for those of you that are sitting on the sidelines or those that are looking for the exponential play where everyone will have their eyeballs and where I think the biggest gains are going to be made at a minimum of 3x um, value in the garden from where it's currently at, um, that's why I think the play, the short term play for the next two months is to get the garden because the marketing and everything going on right now is focused on the animal farm. The eyeballs will not go back to drip until the animal farm gets unpaused and until the UI is built and the layer two contracts are added. So that means for at least the next two months, everyone's going to be coming to the new UI of animal farm and they're going to be playing here in the farm. And as I showed you in another video, the um, garden is the key to this. And by getting in the garden, you get exposure to drip. But now I'm going to lay out all the points that drive this home to show you that if you are getting in in the next two months or looking to exponentially grow your capital, the garden is the play. So let's go ahead and take a look at the contract balance of the garden. So we reached an all time high up here of 800,000 uh, during the peak in March. Then the animal farm paused and we kind of sold off all the way down to our low at the end of July, down here at 350 and some change. 358, 352, something like that. But since July, let's go ahead and just change this to uh, July. Since July, we have seen some pretty steady uptrend, right? Um, even though Drip has been trading sideways, the garden has continued to add to the contract balance. So that is a bullish sign. That's people getting into the garden. And we know the garden is a leverage play on drip. So therefore, if you want exposure to drip, why not have your capital go further by getting into the garden? And there's no max payout on the garden. That is very important to the strategy. Drip has a max payout and that keeps this sustainable. The garden is a miner on steroids. So if you're looking for those life changing gains and get that, um, uh, moonshot basic uh, parabolic growth, the garden is the place to get into. And remember, I'm going to play this clip for you that Forex had from his AMA, where he's talking about uh, the focus on the marketing. For our marketing, we have an extremely strong marketing campaign. We have over 50 million followers worth of Twitter influencers that are scheduled, ready to go. And all of them are going to be making 20 plus promotions, 20 plus tweets about our project. So that means that over 50 million people that are specifically focused on crypto and crypto Twitter are going to be getting promoted our platform 20 plus times over the next month and a half. That's all you need to know for that part. So 50 million eyeballs promoted over the next month and a half. And where are those eyeballs going? They're not going to drip, but they're going to the animal farm. And remember, while they're going to the farm, the only thing that's open is the pig pen, piggy bank, and the drip garden. So the pig pen and piggy bank, yeah, have great utility, but until the farms are unpaused, they're pretty much kind of only paying out half. Like the dividends right now are like bare minimum compared to what it will be. So remember, the farm doesn't come on pause until October 18th. So from September 15th to September, October 18th, what are people going to do that get this new information and come to the animal farm? What are they gonna do with this? Where can they actually start getting uh, capital put in? Well, they can't get into the stables. They can't uh, start pairing up you know, different uh, assets 
They can't get into drip BUSD and start farming pigs. They can't do anything with their single asset stake and they got cake or BTC. They can't do anything. The only thing they can do is get in the garden, the pig pen or the piggy bank. And if they do any digging, they'll see that the, the piggy, the pig pen and how it works, you know, and how the ownership works. So maybe they'll try to get some position there. But as I mentioned, everybody will know and be able to see that the garden has the quickest route towards ownership in the farm from from just uh, initial outside in uh, new equity, basically liquidity uh, being added. So just a quick message, please like subscribe and turn on notifications that does help the channel as well as help bring brand awareness to all Forex shark related projects. Thanks. That's going to be there. Then remember, we already had the um, BSC News article. There's nothing in here about uh, drip token for the most part. It's all talking about the new improvements to the animal farm. Yes, all boats float drip, but remember, the marketing is on drip, drip uh, on the animal farm, sorry. So the faucet, just in my opinion, again, I'm going against the grain of what even I said and what everybody else is saying. I don't believe right now you need to be worried about the faucet. You, if you want exposure to drip, then the best thing you can do absolutely is get into the garden. And right now is a great opportunity because if you're listening to this and you're getting information before the marketing comes online, you can right now build your position in the garden before everyone else. So right now, a thousand BUSD will get you about 105 BUSD LPs. And that $1,000 will end up getting you almost half a million plants. So that is huge. That's gonna get you basically four LPs a day in your payout rewards. So that's a great start. And again, you're getting in with the contract balance has only appreciated you know, a little bit compared to where we were at. So about 140,000 LPs worth have been added, but this is going to go parabolic because again, where else are people going to go when they get this, the, that 50 million people uh, from Twitter, the eyeballs, where else are they going to go into the platform? Additionally, we know that the farm itself is very attractive as a lower risk um, place to park capital. So when you look at uh, cryptocurrencies by uh, sector and you look at um, some of the top uh, protocols on B and B, they're all different types of farms or uh, AMAs, um, yield aggregators, all sorts of stuff like that. They're not the only one that falls out of that category is gambling. So everything is about farming, right? Farm yield farming, uh, liquidity pools, uh, automated market makers, all these things. So people, especially right now in the macro bear market, in a quote unquote or not sure recession. They are probably sitting on a lot of stables or they're also sitting on the um, the uh, stable uh, top tier cryptos. So like sitting on BTC, sitting on ETH or something like that, uh, RAP BNB. Well, they're not going to sell it, especially since it's down. So when the farms come on pause is a great place to put it. And again, these people are going to stay here on the farm especially if it's risk off, they're not going to go to a more risky asset such as a ROI DAP, but they may be more likely to stay on the farm and take the risk of pairing a stable coin with another asset that earns them pigs since they see that pigs give them ownership of the farm. So um, yeah, pulling some ideas together, but I just want you to see that for me right now, the next two months, and even with Forex said with the marketing, we know that the marketing is coming to the farm and that's very unlikely that all those eyeballs are going to migrate straight over to drip. They're going to come to the farm because that's where the push is at. And again, with the farms, the only thing that's going to be working at that time when they come is going to be drip garden, piggy bank and the pig pen. Right. So uh, lastly, this is something that want to be well mentioned. So we know in our own ecosystem, we have a lot of people sitting on a ton of drip. Why do you think they're sitting on it? Do you think they're gonna all of a sudden sell at the bottom? Sure, they may be waiting for a pump to sell off, but these have been sitting here since the pause. Like they've been accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Some have opened up other wallets, but why do you think they're sitting with this amount of drip in their wallet? Well, I'll give you a hint. I'm not gonna play the whole quote from him, but wanna be well, someone who is in the Reef DAO 
said, and he has an audio clip up here where he's talking about it, but he said the play is to claim and pair with BUSD to earn pigs. So it's this um, kind of a flow chart here. So for whales with grip drip sitting in their wallet, they already have the drip. So they can either take half of that drip and sell it to get BUSD, or what Wannabe Well is saying is they just need to pair their existing BUSD. So they probably have, if they're a whale, they're probably sitting on some stables already. So that means these people sitting here with 31,000, 28,000, 16,000, will then add the equivalent of BUSD and put that into the drip BUSD pool. Farm, sorry. And now they're earning pigs because this is going to be a core farm. So if you don't have a ton of drip BUSD already available, the quickest way to get it is the garden. So people, this farm right here, people are gonna, it's gonna have the most liquidity in it, guaranteed. And that's going to draw attention. People are like, so let's just rewind that real quick. So if you just take just these people that are here, um, let's add this up real quick. So we got 30, 31.5 plus 28.2 plus 16.6 plus 16 plus 14.9. That's already 107. So that's 107,000 uh, drip tokens already. So I'm not even gonna go any further. So you just multiply that by the current drip price at $700,000. Um, and then if you get the equivalent in uh, BUSD, we're looking at 1.4 just from like the top few whales. Like I didn't even go any further than that because you already get the point, right? So there is a lot of liquidity that will be added in this farm that will be pulled from the circulating supply, because right now it's sitting in their wallets, right? So it's sitting here, then they go and park it. The cool thing for them is that they still have access to this, right? So it's not like they're locking it up. That's why they had to put it back into the faucet. They put it back in the faucet, they have to wait to claim it out 1% per day. But when they put it in here, they pay an initial deposit tax. I don't know what it would be, 3% to 6%. Um, but once it's in there, they could pull out any amount that they want, but why would they? They've been sitting this long with it and they're going to be getting paid out in pigs. So, um, it's not here in detail yet, but they'll be getting paid. Oh, there it is. Pigs earn. And we don't know how many pigs, but I already showed you in the other video that pigs is the go-to play. And with the amount of transaction volume and taxes that is going to the pig, pig pen, um, they can be making hundreds of dollars, if not thousands of dollars a day by not doing anything with their drip. They're not selling the drip. Remember, that is the goal that an, uh, Animal Farm is all about and that Forex has created. Do not sell the native assets. Drip is a native asset. Dogs and pigs are native assets. So the reason these people have been sitting on the sidelines, accumulating drip, accumulating drip, accumulating drip. Yeah, partly maybe they're looking for a nice 40, 50 uh, X pump and then sell some of the drip, but that's not gonna come anytime soon. So we're gonna get back to the 20s, low 30s, high teens, whatever but they still aren't, don't want to sell, but they want to have access to be able to. So as they ride the wave up, all they gotta do is park their drip and their BUSD, put it in the farm, they take the 6% hit, but they're gonna get that back from pigs. And then maybe by the beginning of next year when borrowing lending comes in or whatever, the price appreciates, then they can peel off a little bit of drip, but maybe even then they, don't, they won't want to because they'll be making so much more in the pig pen dividends. I have no idea what they're gonna do, but I know they've been waiting this long and they're not gonna dump at the bottom. So that's gonna make this pool look very, very attractive to anyone uh, on the outside looking in. And then if you're not already in, you're like, well, how did they get that much drip USD in there? And they're gonna make their way over to the garden. Um, so yeah, that's the last piece I wanted to cover because I already talked about the blue chips. So when the farm comes unpaused, we'll have people actually putting capital into these locations, which will help the entire animal farm ecosystem. But again, the whole point I want to drive home, the eyeballs are coming to this website and the new cleaner version of the website meant to attract capital and lots of people sitting on the sidelines with tons of capital in their wallet with nowhere to park it. And this will be a great opportunity for them. So if they come and put in any of these stable LPs or any of the stable pools, that's staying here on the animal farm. That does nothing for drip. The only way that this helps drip is via the drip garden and the drip liberation uh, tax-free contract. 
So I believe, that's why I'm going against the grain, I'm making a bold claim here, that the play that you need to do, so just to wrap it back up, that you need to do right now is get into the garden. And even if you're in drip, just hydrate. Don't worry about dollar cost averaging into drip. Dollar cost average into the garden. Not financial advice, of course, I can't tell you what to do, but the, the numbers line up that the drip garden will be the go-to play for all of the new eyeballs that are getting the marketing pushed to them. There's no other reason. Now, because they come here and start to improve their position on the drip garden, then by default, that will cause an arbitrage on the native decks. And then those that are in the know will go back and, you know, buy that up or sell the difference or whatever the case may be. But this, make no mistake about it, will be the first place that drip pumps. So you want to be on the ride from the beginning because as this contract balance grows, you're getting paid out drip and drip BUSD and it's growing on this side. It's not affecting the DEX price. So your 1% that you have there is not gonna do anything for you. Here, you're getting paid out whatever uh, the 3.3% per day and you can still get exposure to drip by selling just the drip and then take whatever's left from the BUSD and actually put it back into the garden if you want to. So this, again, just has the most bullish mechanics, the best game theory. Um, yes, I'm, I'm still bullish on the faucet. And in the long run, the faucet is where you want to go. So if after these two months you built this up, you can then start taking your drip from here and put it into your faucet, create your faucet back. But I definitely would recommend that you focus on the garden right now because you can still build a very, very substantial position with... Uh, not as much capital investment. So you see most of the people are sitting at the 100,000 plant mark um, and then over 650,000. So that amount I showed you, $1,000 right now will put you above everybody else back here. And this is going to increase dramatically as new capital comes in. Now there are whales with uh, 8 million, 10 million plants or whatever the case may be, just a ridiculous amount of plants, but you can still get a healthy position in the garden. This looks like 39 million now. Wow. Yeah, we have, I didn't even know as we we're out to the 40 millions in plants. <laughs> that is crazy. And again, what do you think they're waiting on? Um, they're waiting to take this out and then pair it and put it in, I'm not pair it, but claim it and put it into the, the farm. So this is the play and seeing these numbers now uh, shows you what people are doing and where the focus is going. So, all right, I went on long enough. That is my non-financial advice. Go against the grain. Don't listen to the other YouTubers. Listen to me. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, do your own research. That's what you should be doing. But I highly, highly believe that the garden is the place to go, especially if you're not in right now. And even if you are, the next two months are going to be extremely bullish and parabolic for the garden then the eyeballs get placed back on drip. So in the short term, focus on the garden. Long term, build your faucet. All right, guys. Uh, like and subscribe and lift daily and achieve your impossible.